Hey there, and welcome to the next part of our onboarding series. Today you'll learn how to create a realistic lighting environment using the Sun and Sky tool in V-Ray for 3ds Max. Let's begin. There are many approaches to lighting a scene in V-Ray. The most straightforward way is to create a Sun and Sky from the V-Ray toolbar. First, go ahead and start interactive rendering to visualize the changes that will be made. To focus only on the lighting aspect of your image, go to Render Settings and enable Material Override. Just make sure you don't affect refractions. This way, everything will be rendered out with a neutral gray material except your windows. Since V-Ray Sun and Sky are procedural, you can move the sun's gizmo in the viewport and V-Ray will take care of the sky's appearance to match the sun's position and intensity. That way, you can easily create any lighting environment from dawn to noon. For greater control, you can go to the Edit tab in 3ds Max and change the parameters of your sun from there, but it's a lot quicker to use V-Ray's Light Lister. Here you have access to things like intensity, size, and more. Let's tweak the size parameter to change the shadow's softness. This parameter can greatly affect the mood of your renders. An alternative method to V-Ray Sun and Sky is HDRI lighting. Create a dome light from the V-Ray toolbar and feed it an HDRI panorama texture. If you don't have one, you can import from Chaos Cosmos. While having the dome light selected, Pick the HDRI that you like, then click Download and Import. Another way is to drag and drop the HDRI inside the viewport and V-Ray will take care of the whole setup. You can easily control the lighting by enabling Lock Texture to Icon and rotating the light. You can also adjust the intensity. To light the interior, you will need to simulate artificial light, so let's use the V-Ray Plane Light. Again, select it from the V-Ray toolbar and place it in the viewport where you'd like your light to be. As you can see, it automatically appears in the light lister where you can easily adjust its intensity and color. In this case, let's go with something warm. Because the light's body looks out of place, but we don't want to change the mood, you can make it invisible. This way, only the emitted light remains visible. For the second floor, let's place a spherical light. The steps to this are pretty much the same as with the plane light, but you can see that it creates a different mood. Before proceeding with production rendering, always add the light mix render element from the render settings menu. This gives additional flexibility to adjust the lighting in the image even after it's been rendered. Now it's time to render the scene. As you can see in the VFB, there's a light mix option that lets you adjust the light in the scene without rendering. You can turn the lights on or off, adjust their brightness, and even change their color. Well, that's a wrap for this onboarding episode. Great job! You should now have a basic understanding of setting up a lighting environment in V-Ray for 3ds Max.